Guys, it's uh, copper. And today, is this like actually sharp though? If it's spinning faster than it would be. On oh, today, we're gonna make it. This is part two of uh, making the best smoothie ever that I've ever tasted, at least. This is Magic uh, Bullet Smoothie. And I know exactly what we're gonna do this episode. Get some carrots and some turnip. All right. Get it. Nothing fell, it's fine. Get some. Just have to dry my hands as well. Don't mind my gay pajamas. I didn't choose them. I kind of did, but the other ones were gayer. Oh, this is gonna turn into like a mushy banana mix. It doesn't have any bananas. Quite like what was said in part one. If my calculations are correct, once again, if I turn this over, the gravity will put this onto the blade over there. And if I put it on there, except the other way, it will blend. Oh my gosh, I'm a genius. And... Should be good. Might need a bit more water. Just a little bit more water. Actually, no, that's beautiful. I, I'm pretty sure I just made like a freaking baby juice for like an actual healthy one, though. For like little children that don't like eating food. I might be able to save this for what the hell is that? Oh, that's pepper. That's pepper. There, there is pepper in there. Somewhere. Okay. Cheers. I mean, like, it's not good. But this is definitely better than a three, like last video. Last video, I got for jam last video. Last video, I mixed jelly with blueberries. And that was a three out of ten. Four out of ten, actually. I changed it now. This is a good six out of ten. Okay, so I'm just gonna rinse this out. I might have to blend a bit more. I'm gonna take that black thing out. I'm the only one gonna be drinking this, so. It's fine. <laughs> Find a bit more like flavoring. No, not flavoring, like sugar to make it sweeter. Or just like. It's like, you know those like tubes, like bottles that you squeeze? Then it comes out and it's like a green, like, army hat that you have to twist off. Like, in that baby food, it's kind of like that, except the worst flavor. So, yeah. All together, it is way better than the last video. So, part two of making the best smoothie I've ever tasted. This is... Is probably the best second or second best. I made like an apple smoothie once. It was bad, but not that bad. But we're going to make the best. And I'm going to just add something now. It has to be healthy. <gasps> so then I can like actually drink it and it wouldn't give me even more diabetes. I don't currently have diabetes, but I'm on the road to getting it. There's like no water pressure. So I'm just gonna. Add a bit more. This one is a bit better because it doesn't make much of a mess in the sink. Yeah, that's a pretty big water bottle. Like, this is honestly bigger than my water bottle. Once again, quite like what was said last video, if you're watching me make this movie, you're watching the cleanup. This is how it goes. I'm, I'm not going to do that. Come on, fill up.
Cool. Comment what you want me to do next. Th th that wasn't a commented idea. I, I just kind of, like, ah, oh, for dinner, we had some onions, carrots, and turnip and pasta, I guess. No one likes that pasta. Like, I'm just gonna... Yeah. I do like onions, but... Mm. I don't think I'd like them too much in a smoothie, but I might try them next time. Yeah, I didn't do anything. <coughs> yummy. But not yummy enough. I usually pour them out when, last video, I said I would pour them out if they're not good, but I plan on finishing that, so. Let me just put that down. <laughs> yeah. Why not use my hands? Using hands is for nerds, though. Uh, where to put this? I'll just put it at the top with all the things I'm allergic to, like that kosher egg stuff. Yo, we have, I thought there were strawberries or raspberries, never mind. They're tomatoes. We have corn, but I'm not using that. So. Bye, subscribe. I have to clean that. Please, subscribe. Toodles.